Assigning dynamic properties. To edit an existing block, you want to go up to the block editor. So we'll go up to the insert tab. We're going to go to the block editor. When we get to the block editor, all we have to do is pick on the block that we want to edit and say OK. And it'll open up. In our block editor, we'll get our block in here. And this will allow us to make changes in here. Likewise, I'll close this block editor. I'm going to disregard these changes. Likewise, I could just double click on the block. And I can say I want to open up the hex head bolt. And it'll open up the block editor for me. Now, one of the things we need to look at in here is the block authoring palettes. Over here on the left we have a palette like a painter uses a palette and uh, we can come over here and and I'm going to take off the, the docking and I can move this palette around if I like. So I move it around. It has four different tabs to it. We have parameters we have actions, we have parameter sets, and we have some constraints. So this is where it is easiest to assign various parameters to our dynamic block. Um, you can type in the commands if you like, but this is by far the easiest method. Uh, You can see when I select on this block that I have some geometric constraints in here and I have some parameters. So uh, these authoring, uh, block authoring palettes is the way to go in which we want to assign our dynamic properties. You have to keep in mind that there's four different tabs. Uh, when you're beginning you tend to forget that you're on another tab and you're looking for it. So you want to go back and forth between these tabs. And we're going to start assigning things by assigning parameters. And uh, so those are the first dynamic properties that we'll assign. And uh, so basically everything you want to do to your block is located here and we have all our action parameters uh, up here and we have our visibilities and our uh, issues here for dynamic blocks and we have everything here in our block authoring palettes and we also can go with our constraints dimensional constraints and geometric constraints are located here. So everything is one-stop shopping here in our block editor if we need to assign properties to our dynamic block.